Hey, what's up guys on my channel today? I have some Husky hand tools I'm gonna show you. So let's get this review started. Check it out guys, this is my first ratcheting wrench. I bought it about 10 years ago. This is what I use for changing the oil on my lawnmower. I have a Kohler engine on it. And it is so hard to get to that you can really only use like an open end wrench and then you turn it a little bit and then you have to just do all you can to make it work. But I went out, I bought a ratcheting wrench and now changing the oil is a breeze compared to any other method, any other tool that I have to use. So today I'm very excited to have this complete kit right here by Husky. So first I have this kit right here to show you. This is the metric kit. So the tool that's equivalent, here's their 10 millimeter. So now I can change the oil with this one if I want. And then I also have the 16 piece SAE kit right here. So this goes down as small as a quarter inch all the way up to inch and a quarter. The metric starts at eight millimeter and goes up to 30 millimeter. There's a couple things right at the bat I can say have me really excited about these tools right here. Number one, there is a lifetime warranty on all the Husky hand tools. So if you bring this into a Home Depot, there's no receipt needed, no questions asked. They'll just get you a new one. Another thing I like about both these sets, they have an awesome review. It's like a 4.7 out of 5 star review with over like 100 people on each one reviewing how great these are. So I'm sure you're going to be able to fix a lot more things just having a kit like this along with some sockets. This is definitely a game changer. All right, so let's get under the hood of my truck. We'll see how this thing works. I'll demonstrate a little bit and then just show you some of the key features of it, what makes these awesome. So let's go. So I want to show you some of the key features you're going to see on all the wrenches. First thing that's pretty important, it has a 72 tooth ratcheting box end. So it has just a five degree arc swing so you can start fastening something. So you don't have to go very far until it clicks. That, you know, I've, I've had some really cheap wrenches where it seems like you make a real big turn before it, start, it clicks and you can start going again. This has, like I said, 72 teeth so you don't have to go very far before you can start tightening again. So that's awesome. So I'm not sure if you can see this as stamp markings in here. Shows this one five eighths and it has the direction of the turn. So it doesn't have a uh, switch on it. So you have to just flip it over so you can either loosen it or tighten it. Simple as that. Has a zero degree offset. So that'll help you get into some tighter places. So this end is open right here. So that allows for some easy access in case you can't loop this over the nut. So this meets or exceeds the ANSI standard, that's A-N-S-I. So it has chamfer lead-ins, so it's fast and easy to place on to the fastener. So it has a fully polished chrome finish, so it's something that cleans up and wipes up easily, because definitely, look at this truck, <laughs> your hands are gonna get greasy work on there, I guarantee it. So these are all alloy steel construction, which is durable and long lasting. So let me show you where this 10 millimeter might come in handy. A recent repair I've done on this truck is put a new alternator in. So let me show you how you can use this 10 millimeter wrench right here. Just slide that on right there. And you can see how, how quick it clicked. It, it did a couple clicks already. There, just trying to loosen. You want to tighten it. Easily turn that over. and put back. There you can see I got a little greasy already. I was able to put this into a difficult spot, easily take the bolt out. So I have a question for you. Have you used a ratcheting wrench like this right here? And how do they work for you? I think once you buy something like this and you start using it, you're gonna wonder how you ever got along without it. That's just my thought. I'd like to hear what you think. And if you've even tried this Husky set right here, have they held up for you? Since it has a 4.7 star review, out of five, I'm gonna guess that these are nice and durable. I haven't had a chance to test these for very long, but so far, so good. Besides the wrenches, the other thing I like is a storage bag right here. 
So I'll show you how easy it is to wrap these up and take them with you. Push all those in tight. You may not have to roll it quite as tight as I'm doing here, but just the way I roll. There. There's a little bit of weight to these right here. You could get a little shoulder press in. <laughs> I also want to mention this right here. So that's these three holes right there. So if you wanted to store this on your wall, you could put three nails in the wall somewhere on your pegboard or whatever, and you could hang this on there. My preference with this would be to be able to put it in a drawer in my toolbox. Let me show you. This is how I want to be able to store these. I would actually take them out of the pouch and put them in this toolbox right here. And what I like to do is get the foam inserts that have like a two-tone color so when the wrench is out, it's like a white underneath, so it'd be like a black on white or blue on white, something like that. So, you know what I'm talking about. Let me know how those work for you. So this would be my dream setup, something like this, where I had that foam that I'm talking about and have all the wrenches there. And then if I need to take these on the road, I can easily put them in this pouch in just like a, two minutes. So I'm hoping that this video so far has been helpful to help you decide whether or not these are right for you. If you want to learn a little bit more about them, I do have a link down below. If you have any questions, please let me know as well. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, one thing I could probably do at some point, like on my Instagram, if you're interested in seeing that, I could take one of the big wrenches here. I have an old tractor there that I could probably like really refine one of these and see how it holds up. So let me know if you want to see that. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I have a link down below as well too. So, all right, if you find this video interesting, informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.